Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Let's take a look at the gold market. There's really not much, not, not much progress and yes, since yesterday. As you can see uh, from the one point of view market uh, confirms and still shows some bullish moments. First of all, after this solid move up, market has moved above the monthly pivot point and after that stands stably above it and forming some sort of the consolidation right under FIB resistance 1320 area. And in general, this is the bullish sign. Also, trend here is bullish, but it seems, guys, that the factors of the geopolitical tensions that uh, fueled previously uh, and supports previously this upward direction and uh, some demand on the gold market now uh, have become easy and uh, has lost their. Importance. So uh, and but n nothing new have appeared since then, and um, no no some drastic and uh, shaking and breaking sh geopolitical uh, geopolitical events have happened that could support the the pace of the recent demand on the gold market, because all other factors that, as we have discussed hardly could support gold and the nearest perspective I mean the demand on the physical uh, market the physical commodity uh, and the fundamental data the fundamental data stands in the favor of the US dollar and strength and shows the lack of inflation tighten or uh, reducing of the quantitative easing policy and in general stands uh, as the pressure on inflation and that is the negative effect on gold that's why uh, when the geopolitical um, some drastic situations uh, drastic changes have disappeared the gold market has lost the support and uh, turns to some consolidation where it stands for a whole week so we see that the market still is coiling inside of the range of this candle as we have discussed this makes me think that this market hasn't continued to move higher when it has reached the support and uh, has formed some pattern on the intraday charts and then has shown the breakout to the upside of this pattern. It stopped. It makes me think that market really could turn to the downside because if it doesn't want to continue move higher. Maybe we will get even some sort of the ABCD pattern to the downside here. Market could reach for example the weekly pivot support, uh, sorry monthly pivot support or something of that sort. We will see. But for today it will be important to look for this pattern. As you can see, that's an indecision high wave candle. As you can see, very small body with the long shadows. And uh, in today, probably it will depend on whether the market will take out the top or bottom of this candle. If it will happen today, but I'm not sure that's really what will happen. Market could move slightly in the direction of the breakout. But in general, if you take a look at hourly chart. The situation doesn't look really bullish right now, because previously we said market has hit support, has made an attempt to bounce up, failed, turns a big down support. Now it makes another attempt, again failed. So market has no power to continue move higher right now. Besides, on the hourly chart, recall our previous triangle that is based on this top. Market previously has made the breakout, returned right back down, retested this. Uh, support line again. Okay, now it's turned to some flat coiling right at the spike of this triangle. So this is not really bullish breakout. And the, mar uh, the the theory suggests, the, the classical technical analysis suggests, if market wasn't be able to out from the triangle within the uh, three fourth of with, of its body, so three fourth is somewhere here. One, two, three, four, and the fifth way. If it wasn't able to exit from the triangle and turn to the last fourth of the 
triangle. The most probable that exit will be flat. It's just market will round out from this. It's just with the calling to that, to, f with the flat action out from the triangle. So it will be hardly it will be any breakout. That's what the theory suggests. But in general, guys, uh, taking a look at this pattern, I market even wasn't able to complete this part of my 127 extension in terms of the downside again. It seems that market looks a bit heavy. And uh, that's why I can't exclude that in the nearest future we could still could see some deeper retracement that we have discussed in the beginning of the week as market wasn't able finally to break out from this consolidation. Uh, that probably could press on the market and uh, will force it to show some bit deeper retracement down. But currently guys I do not see much what could be done here right now.